You know, one thing I'd like to, um, you know, bring to the council attention, and I'd like to ask for a consensus is, you know, I've been uh, working in uh, with uh, students uh, in juvenile hall uh, a while, and one of the, you know, common issues that I always see is um, the, the the quest for jobs and job training. And I know that uh, council member, when you're big on this, uh, certainly with your agency and the work that you have done. Um, my feeling is this this might be a good opportunity to start reviewing um, and um, taking an opportunity to uh, ask and direct staff to bring back to council a community workforce training agreement. Uh, and uh, my thought here, the reason why this is important is in talking with many of, of these um, young people, one of the quickest way to, to stop crime is really provide them with job opportunities. So. Um, that's what you know really caused me to have this um, you know moment uh, to 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 bring this forward to council. Uh, specifically, um, you know, I obviously I have an interest in prevailing wage uh, jobs. Uh, one of the things I like to really push is try to find ways in which we can invest our tax dollars uh, locally. Um, a part of that, um, you know, is pr provide local apprenticeship for for our students. There, we can't just assume that students are going to go directly uh, to college. Uh, I think we're very fortunate in Elk Grove that we have a lot of high performers, and oftentimes we have these students that are top 20 that are in like 4.5 GPA. But um, I, I have an interest, obviously, for those students who may not want to go to college directly. And, um, uh, you know, apprenticeship program, uh, particularly apprenticeship programs that are, are um, a combination of management and also uh, line workers joining together um, to to uh, develop something that where everyone can agree. Um, I think um, the other thing that does come to mind is you know quality of of work and um, uh, what um, uh, what uh, my my last point of it is uh, I'd like to uh, to request that staff look at um, you know contracts at uh, RFP that are about five hundred thousand. And above. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a consensus on this council to bring this item back with a report from staff so that we can discuss it. So I, I'd like to maybe um, take this a little step further and maybe have it as a discussion at the next council meeting to talk about what this looks like because as you know this is what I do. I, I do this every day for work and I, I agree with you that our young folks especially the ones um, that are in juvenile hall, they need something to lash into because that door is going to continue to be revolving if we don't find something to do. I understand that very well. I just want to make sure that uh, we have what it takes. Not to say we don't have what it takes to do it here, but I want to make sure that before we step in and do this, this is a lot of this is a lot of work. It's really hard. Yeah, um, and, and, and I, and I and think that, we need a discussion right, about no, it before but, we no, jump very into well it. Said. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think it's a great idea. Um, I believe in the cause. I think it's just, it's more than just directing staff to do this. And if it is, I'd like to be on board, involved in this, because um, I've seen cities take on things like this and it not go so well. And it not go so well, not only for the city and the participant, but also the employers, the agencies that take this on, and it just falls apart. And I'd hate for our city to take on something and that, that happens. So um, one, I'd like to maybe bring this back for discussion at the next council meeting and, and shell this out a little bit further? Or Yeah, I think, I think the important part is we start exploring this, right? I mean, uh, and asking and directing staff specifically to speak with uh, interest um, uh, stakeholders, interested stakeholders. Uh, I think that's real important, uh, you know, to, to, to have that discussion. Uh, Member Detra. I, I like the concept, but I just don't know how, um, if this is really a city function, if you look at the core purpose of what the city of Elk Grove does is, you know, public works, public safety, um, this seems like it's something that's channeled more to the school district. And I could see supporting the school district in, the, in this effort and jointly working with them, but I, I don't really see how this pertains to what our core business is. Well, I think what's important is to take that leadership role, right? And um, I think that we're in a great position um, to to be the leader and uh, to show the rest of this region, certainly school district, whatever body, uh, that uh, we're willing to make that stand. Because, 
you know, investing into our children's future is important. And it's not just juvenile hall students. There are a number of students that graduate from our high schools uh, that, um, you know, pause for a little moment and try to figure out what is it that I really want to do. And I think that's a perfect opportunity to, to grab them and say, you know, I mean, go into this apprenticeship program, learn a trade, learn something, and you may want to go to college later on. Uh, but where we're at right now is we don't, uh, if we don't have that conversation, we're not going to uh, be able to move in that direction. So. You're preaching to choir. I've served three, yeah. three apprenticeships. Yeah. So I get it, and, but I still don't think it's a city function. I think it's a, more of a school district function. That's where the kids are at. That's where you're going to reach them. That's where we can move them forward. Okay. Members? I'm still trying to wrap my head around what you're actually asking for because you mentioned about three things, apprenticeship program, prevailing wage, the contracting amounts. Awful. It, it, what is? It, but, and so I, I think I would be in favor because I'm worried that we're maybe even overstepping our bounds at this point as far as discussing this, uh, the merits of this item. I'd be in favor of Council Member Wynn's uh, request to bring this back for full discussion. I'd be on board with that. I mean, I, I think I agree with Councilman Hume. I think you brought up a lot of different topics of discussion for discussion, and I think they all have merit. Um, so let's do that for the next round. Well, my, you know, obviously my thought is uh, pr providing a little bit more additional guidance uh, for staff as opposed to just bringing back to discussion, um, you know, to provide a little bit more of a skeleton. And obviously, um, fleshing that particular uh, skeleton would involve multiple stakeholders and then the community, staff, uh, and members of the council as well. So I, that's my thought. I think that's all we're prepared to do at this time. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, what am I hearing? I hear from one council member. Um, is is that what? For discussion, right? Bringing it back for a more deeper discussion. And I would be more than happy to work with you and get involved with the staff and kind of um, educate on what youth uh, workforce development programs are out there in our region. So you talked about young people that are not. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. Um, my my particular interest is obviously prevailing jobs, and there are certain things that trigger that. But I think it's important for us to make that leadership stand. Um, you know, the the second part of it is um, from a, um, a a philosophical standpoint, trying to invest our local dollars within our local economy. Uh, uh, but more importantly, um, to look at apprenticeship program and how we can actually uh, meet the needs of. Of the workforce in the uh, you know upcoming years, uh, but specifically, I have a, an interest uh, in making sure that we have quality projects when we do kick out you know some of these uh, capital improvement projects in, in in our city, and, and that's the reason why I thought of the five hundred thousand. It's just it's a number in which I I just feel comfortable with. You know, it can certainly move back and forth, but I think if we provide this kind of guidance to staff, we can have a little bit more uh, meat when it does come back. So we, are, we already had this discussion relative to the dollar amount, and I think it was $2 million. Is $2 million, Bob, is where we go to a, another level of review on our public works projects? I'd like to look to the city attorney. I'm getting really uncomfortable that we're discussing an item that's not been agenda. Thank you, Council Member Hume. Uh, yeah, I think we are getting a little far afield of what's proper for bringing, giving direction to staff. So we've heard a lot of different things here, and I think we're starting to get into the substantive discussion. My recommendation is with Council Member Humes and the others of uh, why don't we take what we've heard, we'll bring this back for a broader discussion, we'll agendize it so we can have a fuller discussion, involve the public, and move forward from there. And I, and I think we can do that at the next meeting if that's right with the Council. Okay. Sounds good. That's good. All right. Thank you.